She ain't got a chance, I can kill pet. I see cotton moves, switch, but let's see, I got princess, send her out a shoe fit. Yo, hello. It's Reva here and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make a, a AI data effect Kinda looks like uh, uh, the matrix effect as well So yeah, uh, let's get uh, right into this So the first thing uh, you're going to do uh, is make a solid layer and this first part here we're going to make a pattern for this effect and then we're going to change the composition settings so you open it up and here we're going to change the width to 100 and the height to 100 as well and then after you've made the rectangle tool you're going to open up rectangle here rectangle path and then the size you're going to press this uh, link thing here and uncheck it and then go with i think 35 looks good in my opinion and now we're going to fix the colors here so you press fill here and the uh, middle rectangle which is the only one we have added now but yeah, it's going to, going to be 50% uh, in the black level here. So you get this uh, kind of gray. And uh, one more thing guys, to make sure this is in the center, use the alignment window here. So you press this one. Now, so now it's in the middle. And now it's vertically in the middle. Now we're going to uh, do one more of this. Uh, so you press Control D. And for this one, you are going to align it to the left. And now we are going to change the black level here, here as well. So you click on fill and the uh, black percentage is going to be 35. And now you do one last one and you press Ctrl D and then go on the alignment tab again and then align right. And change the color here to 20% on the black level. So yeah, now you get something like this and uh, you could actually just use this if you want to, but uh, I found that it doesn't look that like that good, good to be honest. I'm going to start off by pressing Control alt y to create a adjustment layer, then add the gradient blur and increase the blur blurriness to 10. And then now we're going to choose the pen tool and drag a line here, make it, yeah, so it becomes horizontal drag this beneath the adjustment layer so you get something like this then from here you just press ctrl d so you can uh, have several of these ctrl d and adjust it to, to your liking you can use the alignment here as well so something like that i think this looks good in my opinion so now i'm done with my uh, pattern composition and now moving on to the main composition so now when you're in your main composition with your footage uh, and by the way uh, this footage is rotor brushed so uh, in my opinion it, it looks better if you rotor brush the character or the person you want the matrix data effect <laughs> so you open up the project here import your pattern layer so you get something like this uh, now you can use the alignment tab again so you align left and then I align uh, um, at the top here and we're going to add a effect called CC reptile and here we're going to expand this to the right as much as we can I'm just uh, going to increase it to like 13,000 to the left 2,500 down 8,500 and then up 1,500 something like this and uh, I'm just going to fix my main footage now then we're going to go back to the pattern layer again okay so when you wrote the brush out your uh, character here and if you don't know how to wrote the brush I have a tutorial on it uh, so you can watch that uh, if you don't know how, how to wrote the brush so when you have your character wrote the brush out uh, you're going to choose the background layer and then add a effect called the duo tone and the colors I'm going to be using here is a lime green here Something like this. And then the other color is going to be black. And I'm going to increase the threshold to something like this. And then the softness is going to be 0 0.1360. Just like that. So now we're done with that. And now we can make the pattern layer visible. And then make this uh, to hard mix. And then choose mate. Uh, choose the roto, uh, roto brush of the character here. You get something like this. Uh, but now we're going to adjust the pattern size as well. This is kind of big so you can barely like see the, the like pixels I guess I could call it. So we're going to drag the size down to 15%. So you press S on your keyboard in the pattern layer and then write in 15%. Now you can see you get, you get something like this in your character here. I forgot to mention to you guys that you have to press uh, invert on the duo tone here. So it comes like this. 
Now we're going to add some effects to our pattern layer. So you can add four color gradient, drag this uh, above the reptile effect. And then we're going to choose green here on all the color positions, something like that. And then you're going to choose color. And you can also add a effect called wave warp. Choose smooth noise, wave height to four and wave width to 96. And the direction should be zero. It's pretty good now. Uh, and now we're going to duplicate our pattern layer. So you press Ctrl D and then you can delete the mat here. Now we're also going to duplicate our roto brushed layer. So you press Ctrl D there as well. You can drag this below the uh, mat version of it and then make it visible. So now you get something like this. It's up to you if you wanna have this visible or not. So yeah, uh, now we're going to add some effects here. So you press Ctrl Alt Y and we're going to add a effect called Signal here. Uh, and it looks something like this. And the only thing we're going to do here is uh, open up this Luma modulation and uh, uh, uncheck the tape error setting. So you get something like this. And then we're going to change the blending mode to uh, Subtract. And then press Ctrl Alt Y, and here we're going to add a deep glow. You could add a the normal After Effect glow if you don't have it. And the glow here should be 360 uh, on the radius, and the exposure should be 1.5. And if you guys don't want to have this uh, green thing here, uh, you could also so add a new adjustment layer. So Ctrl Alt Y, and then add a transform and zoom in a little bit, so maybe 5%, something like that. So now it disappears. So yeah, uh, the outro got deleted, uh, but yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, if you have any new ideas on tutorials I can make, uh, please comment that down in the YouTube comments or DM me on my socials. And uh, this tutorial was inspired by uh, Motion Nation and uh, Texture Labs. Uh, tutorial on this effect as well. Uh, I just did my, you know, little own twist on this. But yeah, that's uh, what I wanted to say. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.